On death row nearly 22 years, Rodney Reed just days away from execution. But I'm innocent of this case. Absolutely innocent. Reed's case now attracting attention from a growing list of celebrities, and over a million people have signed an online petition to stop his execution. I mean, Reed, now 51, was convicted of raping and killing 19-year-old Stacy Stites in a small Texas town in 1996. Reed's semen found inside her body. You told the police you didn't know her. That was the worst mistake I have ever could have made, and I did not want to be incriminated in relation to her death. Stites, one of several women prosecutors say Reed sexually attacked, allegations never proven. Reed now says he and Stites had a discreet, intimate relationship, and that this man, Jimmy Finnell, then Stites' fiance and a police officer, is the real killer. The evidence points directly in that direction. Well, the evidence points directly at you because... That was created from the state's narrative of this whole situation. Reed's lawyers point to developments since his 1998 conviction. Witnesses who say Fennell made threatening and racist statements about the affair. And it has taken years, an extraordinary effort, to break through this bias in that community. Forensic analysis raising doubts about basic facts like the time and place Stites was killed. And a former prison inmate says Fennell bragged about killing Stites while Fennell served a 10-year prison sentence for improper sexual activity with another woman. It's just plain ludicrous to, to buy into this Rodney Reed circus. Fennell's attorney, Robert Phillips, denies Reed's allegations. He's got great lawyers, very creative. Uh, they, they keep coming up with witnesses out of the woodwork. Stites' sisters stand by Reed's conviction. Never have we thought that Jimmy was guilty of murdering my sister ever. Her other sister, Crystal, adding, We pray for the end to a nightmare we have had to relive over and over for 23 years. The Texas Attorney General's office says after reviews by more than 20 judges, it's time to see that justice is done at last. I'm cautiously optimistic that something good has got to happen. With 14 days left, Reed has appeals pending all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court. Ron Allen, NBC News, Livingston, Texas. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.